Hello. So I said that I would go into my closet on Thursdays and Sundays. I had to back this light up. Hi, Tracy. So I'm, um, hi, Susie. This light is kind of blaring. Let me turn it down a little bit. Miss Jacquez. Dojo, dojo. I always say your name incorrectly, and one day you'll give me a lesson. Let me turn this light down. Um, okay. Katrina. Back in the day, Katrina. Hey, Trail. Little trail, trailblazer. So I'm in my closet. And I said on Thursdays, and hey Susie, Thursdays and Sundays, I will be vlogging from my closet. Um, yeah, you're about to see. I'm in another angle today. So I wanted to, hi Lulu. How you doing, Miss Lulu? Um, hey, Miss Vivian. So my goal for 2018 hi honey girl now your closet is the closet i would love to be in my goal for 2018 is hi nikki hey brenda is to um vlog out of my closet and oh hi christian happy birthday <laughs> So one of the reasons I wanted to vlog out of my closet is that, first of all, um, I just wanted to talk about how we can set up, like, areas that inspire us. Hey, Cousin Matt! Um, areas that inspire us to take time for ourselves, to be better, to just have that breathing space. And even if you don't have, we converted... Um, a room into Bernice happy birthday now listen if you guys know the Stillwell twins where they get their design and fashion from is mama mama Bernice amazing so I wanted to encourage women to learn to appreciate yourself be who God created you to be and not be afraid of who you are so I feel like a closet is a very personal space. Um, you know, it's one of those spaces where you're kind of like, I don't know if I want people to see my closet and see like, see all that stuff back there? We're going to talk about that. So one of the things that different women have been saying to me is that they, they feel encouraged to... Um, you know, to make a space for themselves or just to be okay with what they have. And some of us are over the top. I consider myself an over the top person. This right here is just a selection of my bags. Over here are my scarves. Like, obviously, you can tell I love scarves. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to talk about just learning to love who you are. When I first started cleaning out my closet, um, at first I was kind of like, girl, you got a lot of stuff. You're over the top. I was just saying all the stuff about myself. But then I, when I set up my perfume and one of the perfume bottles was missing um, a top, and I knew I had this little piece of black top somewhere. And I started saying to myself, oh my God, I just love how I save stuff because then it ends up being something I need. So I just wanted to encourage people to be who God created you to be. Learn how to love yourself. If you haven't reached the place of loving yourself, then I wanted to just bring some inspiration so that you can. So today, I just want to talk, continue the conversation on setting up an environment that inspires you and encourages you. So in my closet, I'm going to focus on this wall right here. I'm going to turn it a little bit so you can really see it. Um, so over here, like I said, I have like all of my scarves. I have the winter scarves up top. 
Then I have um, my pashminis right here. And oops, the way that I keep them, I try to keep them. See all these rubber bands that almost fell? I roll them up so it looks like a department store. <laughs> And you know, my husband would be like, girl, you think you own a store? And so I really do treat my closet like a store. So I roll them. I try to color code them. Um, but then I have all these little sayings that encourage me. So this one is the joy is in the journey. I don't care where you are in your life right now. The joy the joy is in your journey. I have been through so much stuff in my life. And I'm telling you, every time I get to the other side of it, all I say is, God, I can't believe that you would use that, excuse my French, crap for my good. Because when the word says all things work together for your good, he really means that. And so, you know, the joy joy three little letters the joy is in the journey and so I want to encourage someone I was you know God delivered me from domestic violence and the joy is in the journey now that I'm on the other side of it I can <laughs> yes I told you I have a lot of stuff but everything is always neat you know it's neat and listen I'm always purging so trust me but I the joy is in the journey you know, and I love how in this, it, they capitalize J-O-Y because it's showing you that the joy is in the journey. Um, every time, you know, I have an opportunity to um, minister to someone about getting through domestic violence or, you know, crossing over a threshold of pain, I'm telling you, I can confidently stand and say, no matter what you're facing, as long as you have God, you can make it. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Darnell. Hey, Sophia. I'm just talking today about the joy in the journey. I'm sitting in another part of my closet. And um, I just said to everyone, being in your closet is a very transparent. Um, it's a very transparent place to be. And so we're actually, we're in the Hebrew month. Hey, Darnell, how you feeling? How's the little baby? She's a big girl now. Um, but this is the month in the Hebrew calendar of Tavat. Tavat means um, transparency, being a person who's transparent. So I'm telling you, I'm sitting in my closet, and I have just decided that for two years, I wrote that I wanted to vlog out of my closet and so this is me stepping out doing what I have always wanted to do and I'm so glad that you're watching and you think it's interesting so the joy is in the journey I'm telling you I'm telling you um, a lot of you know that um, we have we have been raising our grandchildren and um, you know going through a very difficult time with our daughter and just to be on the other side of it, I just just last night I was uh, cleaning and organizing some of my journals, and I found a journal that I wrote in 2015, and I talked about how painful it has been for me to talk about my daughter. And I'm telling you, just to be able to talk about her today without crying, without feeling that pain, without feeling defeated uh, is just a blessing. So I'm, when I say the joy is in the journey, this was in my closet to remind me that joy is in the journey. Hey, joy, it's so funny you came on because we're talking about joy being in the journey. So, um, but now that she's on the other side of it, we're on the other side of it as a family, Man, it was tough. It was it was tough. There were days I still had to do everything, you know, that I do at church, still raising Matthew who was a um he was a freshman in high school and you know, so we got all the kids when he was a freshman and so there was a lot of stuff that I had to um put on hold. And of course, the children are worth it. Uh, but just just imagine you have all these dreams, you have all these desires, you have your life set up. 
because you have all these things that you want to do. Your son is in high school. You know you have four more years before he goes off to college. Pastor Matt and I were planning our empty nest, <laughs> empty nest life. And then all of a sudden, all these kids are like now in our house. And so, you know, 2016, I thought they would be like transitioning. That didn't happen. Our daughter was still in a rough place. Um, hey, Miss Tony, my friend from high school. Um, and so I had even doing this vlog, I had to put it on hold and, you know, now everyone's getting older and, you know, I'm able to, I'm able to do it. So I can't even tell you how excited I am to, um, to do this, to do this vlog. And right now it's Facebook live, but eventually I will be moving to vlogging and having, um, you know, episodes and things. So whatever you're interested in, if you want to inbox me but I'm really great at organizing, as you could tell. <laughs> so anyway, joy in the journey. This um, is just a reminder, color outside the lines. Oh, it's a little dusty. Oh, jeez. Um, the thing about coloring outside the lines is sometimes we think everything has to be so perfect. Like me starting this, this vlog, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to. And I was just like, you know what? Just start it. Color outside the lines. Who says it has to be perfect? It can, it can just start where you are. Start. Hey, Tashana. I love you, girl. Um, I just want to encourage somebody. Hey, start where you are. I'm not an expert on on vlogging or Facebook Live or any of that, but let me tell you something. I got. I just follow some of these young people. I'm 51, but I know how to. You know, I know how to go with the flow. I got me a ring light. This is a ring light. You can get it on Amazon. Um, Pastor Matt and Maddie came in on Sunday, and they were just like, "Oh, she got a whole studio set up." Oh, yes, I do. Hello. I got me a ring light. I already have my two chairs in here. Um, today, before I left to go to work, I was like, oh, girl, get everything set up for tonight so you could just get on and do what you got to do. Yes, yes. Afia, just start. Start wherever you are because I'm telling you, once you start on the path, whatever you need will just begin to show up. Um, and, you know, faith without works is dead. So you've got to do the work to get yourself prepared girl aj not about a number that's right tatiana so i just went you know i said okay this is what i need i need a camera i have my little tripod with my phone on it i just just ordered a piece for my ring light for my camera to go into um excuse me so i've just been taking it one day at a time but i was determined in 2018 that no excuses i'm starting I'm starting to do what I need to do and what I feel called to do. And um, I'm always a person who, when I gather information, I like to give it out to people. So um, this is how you set up an inspiring environment. So we have the joys in the journey. So whenever I'm feeling down, I just come in my closet and I just look at everything that I have around. Color outside the lines. This particular piece, I, I was... Um, I was at a conference and I was um, promoting my book and I was supposed to meet with two publishers, a publisher and a publicist and um, bring them on camera. Let me show you. Okay. Tatiana the Brito. So this is it. Color. Merry Christmas, Jesse. So color outside the lines, this is so significant to me. Um, actually, Kim, if you know her, Kim Ayala from Jubilee gave me this. I was really down. I had Natasha. I'm still, everybody that I said I was giving shoes to and Zakia a bag. I haven't forgotten. This week has just been very, very busy. So um, it's still right here and you're going to get it. I just need you to know that. Um, I'm a woman of my word. I have a lot of shoes. I just don't know, Natasha, if I have high boots. I think I only have like three or four pair, but well, I'm still looking. Um, girl, I have this hat on because our house is so cold. And right when I finish, I have to run to the store. So I got to be ready. I'm like ready. But I said I was coming on on Sunday. Tony, I need you to back down. Let me tell you, I just gave away a lot of stuff. These are my bags. 
and I'm okay with it. So I'm not having a flea market. Okay? Can I have the Zakia back down? Um, ah, uh, thank you, Stacy. So anyway, um, I just, you know, just want to talk about, so this color outside the lines, I was, I had, I received an email to tell me where to go so that I could, you know, present my book and, um, I get there and my email, they had switched the place to go. Can you believe that? And so he is controlling the heat, but it's okay. Um, so, so I get there and the person said, well, I'm so sorry. We changed the room. So now you're only going to have five minutes. So I only had five minutes to present. Uh, thank you, Joy. Hey, Sister Wilma. Hey, Winnie. So I have five minutes to present what I had planned for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Are you a size 10, Annie? Because if you are, then you can inbox me because I can't go through the whole feed. But if you inbox me, I'll get you a pair of shoes. Trust me. Um, and then after today, I'm going to stop with the shoes because you guys will take all my shoes. Okay? Um, so anyway, I have 15 minute. My 15 minute presentation had to now go down to five minutes. Hey, Winnie. And so... I was so down. I was like, Lord, why would you, why would you do that to me? I'm so prepared. I had the list. I had, and when I came back home, okay, all right, I have stuff for you. That's exciting. When I came back home, Kim, she didn't even know what happened, but she had this plaque for me, and it was just a reminder for me that it doesn't matter what happens in life, color outside the lines. And so I just encourage you, color outside the lines, start wherever you are, whatever goals you have down for 2018, just start. That's what I'm doing. So that's my encouragement, <laughs> Vivian. <laughs> I'm sorry you were a seven and a half. Because girl, if you wore, if I wore a seven and a half, I would definitely hook you up. Because guess what, Vivian, I was just watching something and um oh the fairy tales to faith women's conference and remember your cake got left in the refrigerator and we had to bring it and leave it on the pulpit on sunday yeah tony those were the good old days and we still have good days they were the good old days but we have greater days ahead um so anyway listen start where you are i don't know what you put down for your new year's goals or you know, maybe you had some goals from last year that, you know, I wrote down starting my vlog in 2016. Um, and life circumstances, I couldn't do it, but it didn't leave my list uh, of things that I wanted to do. And so I just, I just encourage you. I don't care what it is. I don't care the level of faith that you need. Whatever you desire to do, just keep working it start with that hat <laughs> so anyway color outside the lines the joy is in the journey and then this is like this is so whimsical to me but I love this um, this is it says dream this is just because my wool scarves are up there it's like seriously see hon if you're gonna do this every week I just, I just, I'm so serious. It's not even funny. I'm not. I'm just. Okay. I'm going to need you to leave. Um, so this is a little wood block. Um, and this is for my. <laughs> Get out of here. No, I, I, I know. Cause we have to do the thing. Right. Yeah. I know. I'm not going to be long. Okay. I know. We're speaking somewhere tomorrow. So we have to finish. I'm not going to mess with you guys today. Okay. Love you. I love you. Bye. The genius. So this says dream. Do you want to tag Matthew Thompson in this video? No. <laughs> Bye. Um, that just reminds me. And sometimes, I don't know if you saw this because I was interrupted, but it's a person flying. And so, 
you know, sometimes in order to dream, you just have to take flight. You just got to do it. Right? So that's one. This is from my sister, so it just makes me happy. I don't know. Every time I look at it, it makes me so happy. Sisters are tied together with heartstrings. So whatever. I know he wants to, he wants to be in it so bad. We're together all the time. Let me do my own thing. Hello. Okay. Then this is a shoe. It's a um, luggage tag. And it just makes me happy. This woman that used to go to our church years ago, Susan, she was, um, she just always did like really sweet stuff. So every time I, I always think of her. Miss Susan. Okay. Uh, oh. So even though this is, you know, this is a water jug, but I don't intend on using it for water. But I love what it says. Wake up with determination. Go to bed satisfied. Then it says a lifestyle with no finish line. Letitia, girl. Don't we feel like we're at Pajama Jam? Um, a lifestyle with no finish line. Isn't that, that is so, oh my gosh, that is so genius. A lifestyle with no finish line. So that means that stop thinking that you have to do something by a certain time. J.C. Penny didn't start J.C. Penny until he was well in his 60s. Um, dream big and achieve greatness. So I just want to encourage you for that. Um, then, you know, I just like initials and, you know, stuff like that. So that's, and then I have this because we talked about this um, on Sunday. And so I just want to show you, this is, oh, excuse me. So this is kind of like all my treasures. So it has cards. It has, let's see, what concert was this? Oh, that's when I went to the color purple. I think I have my Beyonce bracelet up there. Um, I have, you know, cards from friends. I have tags um, from like clothes that I like if it's a funky tag. So I just surround myself. Oh, one time I went to a hotel and I kept the key because isn't it was so amazing the key says rise and i was like oh this is so amazing um so anyway that's what i wanted to just encourage someone on setting up an inspiring environment uh what else did i want to say today let's just see i think that's it I'll go to these little globes over here because I think um, this is another little thing that is fun in my closet. So sometimes if you, um, I think you can do special stuff for yourself. So this, I had this done at, oh, it's dusty. My closet gets real dusty. This is um, from Things Remembered. Like right now is a really good time to go to Things Remembered and um, get something engraved for yourself. So this is a sun uh, eyeglass case, and I had um, QBM put on here because I think it's just so chic. So uh, sometimes I'll do little stuff like that. Um, wait a minute. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I think uh, Pastor Matt told me I need to get a... Um, a router in here so it'll stop freezing so I'll do that another time but anyway so I just wanted to encourage um, encourage you to do nice stuff for yourself put inspiration around you um, love who you are love the design in which God made you I'm a person you see a lot of people have come on and said um, I should sell stuff or purge or get rid of stuff but I'm okay with who I am <laughs> I love scarves, I love bags, I love shoes, I love jewelry, I love perfume. I just love a lot of stuff. And sometimes I'm like, God, why did you make me like this? But he made me like this so I could vlog out my closet. So I'm going to leave you with this. I was going through my mail today and I thought that these were awesome words that I cut out of magazines, which I often do. I showed you my vision journal last time. 
but I thought these were some great words to leave everyone with. Give. That's what I'm doing today. Giving. The power of gratitude. What are you grateful for? I'm grateful for calmness. I'm grateful for adventure. Yes, Jesse. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. I have the perfect. Oh, wait till I get to the last one. Hat. Stop it, Zakia. I'm grateful for the journey. See? Joy is in the journey. I'm grateful for balance. Isn't balance awesome? I'm grateful for strength. What are you grateful for? Hashtag. Hashtag grateful for. I just want to thank you for coming on Facebook Live and sharing life with me in my closet. Hi, Shakira. And then I want to encourage you, until we meet again on Sunday, I love this. Have some time for me this week. Have some time for yourself this week. I'm so glad, Christy, that your relationship with Jesus is renewed. Because I'm telling you, there's no one like him <laughs> in all of the earth. You do you. As Pastor Matt says to me often, Mona, you do you. And I'm like, yeah, I do me. I know how to do me. Jackie, change is good. This is all for my mail. I just want to tell you, your mail can speak to you. Don't just throw junk mail away. Just open it and cut words out that speak to you. This is from, this is from somebody trying, oh, somebody trying to sell me a BMW. Have, have some time for me this week. Oh yeah, I got time for you. I got time for me this week. And then our gift to you. What is your gift to yourself? right? So I just, I'm going to leave you with those words. And I want to say it again, have some time for yourself this week. Okay. All right. Now I like that idea. Yes. Have some time for you. And then see what I do. I cut it all out. And like I told you, I'll put it right in my journal. Oh, I forgot. I brought this out because I wanted to, I wanted to inspire you guys to do something. So I don't know if you ever get, like if you're in different stores, um, what is the name of this place? Shutterfly always has, good for you, Zakia. Shutterfly always has like these deals. So what I like to do is I made a memory book for myself. Oh, that's okay. But, but you don't want to miss this, trust me. So I made a memory book for myself to remind myself of all the great moments. Yes, treat yourself to a movie. I'm sorry, we're supposed to go to a movie. The great moments that I had in 2017. Trust me, I had a lot of stuff happen in 2017 that was not great. But guess what? Yesterday, we buried a young woman who passed away from cancer. And I think that we can all think of moments that are great and so i made this little book um, that had 2017 memories um and this was a fun picture that i took in miami called stay lit it was like this um graffiti area and so i just put all the moments that that really made me happy and then because it was like a two for one then um isn't this picture so i hope you guys can see it this is me and my granddaughter so what I did was I went on one of these apps that you can make all the pictures kind of look the same. And one of the things that really inspires me, oh my God, sometimes I get so emotional. One of the things that really inspires me is when I get to hang out like with my friends and family. And so I did this book of all pictures of um, things that make me happy. Like, aren't these pictures so great? It's my little boo-boo. All my, all the people I think like are my little sisters and just great times. So every time I look through this book, it just makes me extremely, extremely happy. 
And I remember years ago, there was a woman, um, I can't remember her name, but she came to our church and she had, she was like speaking and she had, um, whoa, she had, she was speaking and signing books and behind her, she literally had the biggest picture of herself. And I was like, wow, it takes a lot of nerve to do that. And I never, ever forgot that. And I remember a couple of years ago, because you know, everything is on our phone now. I went through my phone and I printed out every picture that I love of myself. And I made myself a little album to remind myself to love me. And I'm telling what it did for me. I just encourage you to do that. I Millicent Jackson, that was her name. Not the singer. But her name was Millicent Jackson. She came, she had this big life size. This was before people started having like pictures of themselves. But I was like, how bold, how bold was that? So anyway, I just encourage you, get a book of your favorite memories, a book of people you love. And then if when you're feeling down, you got something to look at that'll just bring you joy. Because remember how I started? The joys in the journey. So um, thank you guys. Um, I appreciate you uh, coming on so we could chat. Um, yep, she had beautiful, you remember, right? Right, Sip? She had beautiful gray hair. I mean, she was just, and that really, really sat with me to never be afraid to be who you are. Never be afraid of what you're going through. Because there's joy in the journey. There is another side to your life. Trust me. <laughs> Anybody could tell you that there's another side. I have been through so much stuff. There's another side. And whatever you're believing God for this year, just start where you are. Just start where you are. Girl, I'm saying right. But honestly, guys, my hair's a mess. And I have to run out. Um, so I got to be ready to run out. Um, it's, it's chilly, but I've been married to this man for 21 years, going on 22 years. And, um, yeah, so girl, I'm just used to the cold and guess what? The less money we spend on heat, the more I can fill my closet. And with that, good night. It's been wonderful.